So what in the, I got myself into. Hey you guys, Steve here from Australian 4x4 Adventures again. And, we're doing another shed life. So, trying to actually get a solar panel fitted to the top of the 200 permanently. Um, so I'm going to show you how to run the wire from the roof down so it's, so it's not seen. It looks really neat, how to fix it, how to fix the panel to your roof rack. Uh, how to wire it into your, well, I've got the Red Arc BCDC, uh, told 40. So I'll show you how to wire that in, how it all works, and go from there. This is just a cheapie off eBay, it's a 300 watt panel, so in reality, because it's off eBay, it's probably only a 150 watt panel. The only thing I ever carry up on the roof rack is my swags. Swags will quite easily sit on top of this for, for transport, and the car's running at that point. And then when we're, we're at full driving and we not don't have swags on there or for the set up camp and we're sitting around the camp, at least this sucker's gonna be charging because there's, there's gonna be nothing sitting on top of it. I do also have the portable one as well, which I can still take with me. Um, but this hopefully is gonna take over most of the duties of just keeping that the second and third battery topped up to run the fridge properly and go from there. I think if it's a really long extended trip where I know I'm gonna have stuff on the roof a bit, I'll probably still have taken the, the portable panel with me at the same time. So the panel itself is a Soul Razor solar panel. So the model is an SP-10-S-300-BK. Uh, so the max uh, max power voltage is gonna be uh, 20 volts. Um, I, I had this thing sitting in the sun the other day, just with a voltmeter on it, I was putting out nearly 24 volts, so it's probably more realistic. In the car, the reason I got this size was because it fitted nicely halfway between this channel and that channel on that side so I could basically get an L bracket to mount into the existing uh, rails of, of the Rhino rack. No extra drilling of holes in the rack, no, no silicon, stick flex, no silicon. It's completely bolt on, bolt off if we wanted to. It's going to be an Anson plug to, to basically connect it. So this thing should be able to come off in about five, ten minutes if for some reason it has to come off for, for any reason all down the track. So what I've done up on top of the car, worked out where the brackets are for the awning. I'm gonna put it front one slightly back and then back one slightly back as I can go. I've got up there and I've marked where these need to go. So I've put a little text in there, a permanent marker on my finger now. Awesome. So this is gonna be the front of it. So the awning bracket sits just there. So I'm gonna have around about a 60, 70 mil overhang on the front of it there. So that's 50, 58 mil. Um, so I'll, I'll copy these lines across to that side because it has to be symmetrical because if it's not, then it's not right. <laughs> um, so one, one there, one right at the back. I'll work out exactly where the center is for the center one. Correlate those lines to that side. Start drilling some holes. So I've always found the best way to drill in the metal is with the step drill. Um, just works the nicest. Trying to change drill bits and do all sorts of funky stuff. Uh, step drill, it's ready to go. Like dinner. So what I'm going to do though is because as soon as you drill through you always get a little bit of burring on the back edge. So I'm going to re-put them back in just a little slightly quickly and just just touch the back edge. Give us a little bevel on there, take the burring off. Perfect. You don't have to worry about scratches or cutting yourself or anything funky like that. Takes two seconds. That's all the brackets ready to go, apart from the other hole for the one later. Let's uh, drill some holes in the solar panel and we'll go from there. I'm going to try. Turns out it's double skin. I did not know that. That makes it interesting. I've got my bolts along it. Be closer for you. So it turns out, inside there, I thought it was just the, the single thickness of this channel, but there's one 
another channel around about five or six mil back into it so it's double skin so obviously it helps with strength and whatnot so with a step drill at the very least you're going to have to go in from one side get the depth you need and then come back in at the other side to to drill, drill that side out without getting this hole too big for there now I've got to find a, a, build, a drill bit, a, a bill bit, if that makes sense. Um, can't find a bill bit, <laughs> a drill bit, to uh, just drill those last two holes out. Should be able to bolt it together, measure it up, drill the other last holes in the brackets, and it should be ready to mount. And then we've just got to worry about wiring and running that wire from the roof rack down to the bonnet without it being seen. All right, find a drill bit. Beautiful. Nice and tight, pull together well. The spring wash is gonna stop that from coming undone in the long run. Alright, let's go through and do the rest. But I do know they click. Pro tip if you suck at measuring stuff or you, you always struggle to get exact centers, don't try and hold your tape center and measure center. Oh, it's about 233 mil. And hook your tape on and then measure to the outside and that will work out to be center. So that's 232 mil. So 232. So I'm gonna do that for the overall. So I'm gonna hook under there, measure to the outside. So uh, 797. So 797 is the center of the rails from the second one in from each one for this particular rack anyway. So, right. so I've been mucking around a little bit and I've got the solar panel mounted up up in here so it's solid as a rock. Just done a bit of temporary wire. I wanted to make sure what I was going to do was going to work before I um, record it and put it on, on film for everyone to critique. So out of the bottom of the solar panel, I've got the original two two fittings that came out um, to the Anderson plug that we plugged in before. From there I've ran a wire so the wire actually comes underneath this section here underneath the weather shield it's just a single wire runs all the way down comes out underneath the bonnet here tucked up from underneath the weather shield into here, through some all over the conduit to put in there. Actually running it through the weather seal and it's coming out the front here for now. I've um, just got a, a random a loose wire hand. I'm going to take off this in a second, run it all the way under here to my red arc, which is at the front of the car there, then I can wire it in. At the moment, all I've done is earth the appliance up at the roof rack. Jeremy's here, by the way, he just stand up. <laughs> He's right. Um, I've just I've just earthed it right there on on the actual roof rack at the moment. It's just a temporary, just to have a look at it. I'm going to neaten that up and put it somewhere else where it's a little bit nicer. All right, so let me neaten some stuff up and I'll get back to you. All right. All right. So I've pulled the front guard, mud thing, reflector, the plastic bit that covers all the bit on the front. Pull all that off. I've disconnected the red arc, so I've got the red arc DC, BCDC 1240. I've taken off the uh, long range of bracket to, just so I can get to all the wiring a little bit easier. And for me, I've got all this stuff hanging off the back and all the original wiring. So for me to connect in solar, I think there's maybe one version that does solar directly into it. Mine doesn't. I've got to get essentially a relay kit in there. So that is how all that works there, so you can see basically what it is, it's basically a giant relay that everything sort of runs in and out of, so that way when, when the car's on, it's using the uh, the red arc controller, when the car's off, it, it diverts to the solar through the relay. So, and it's all just there, nice and easy. It's a nice little kit actually. It's not bloody cheap though. Um, I, uh, red arc I've got to advertise for 100 bucks. Um, ARB had it for 116, I talked them down to 95. So, how of bucks for, for that little sucker. But it's it's an 80 amp uh, relay on a five pin. You're pretty hard to find for a five pin anyway. All right, so let's, let's 
let's wire this sucker up. So Red Arc make it pretty damn easy to do all the joiners. I'm probably going to show you on the hardest one here. But um, essentially just give you a little collet, slip that over, do one at a time. Because there's a stopper in the middle so it stops where it wants it to. Grab your proper crimpers, you know your cheap nasty ones, get some proper ones. Crimp that sucker on there, that's good. I've already slotted the heat shrink over. Get that out of the way. Put that side in there. Crimp again. Over. I'm going to go through and um, do all the heat part later once it's all wired up. Because I'm trying to minimise how much wire you can see out on the roof at all, plus it means we don't get as much um, degrading wire and the sunlight and all that crap, I'm going to earth the solar panel to itself. So rather than have both positive and positive, ne negative coming through the Anderson pipe from here, I've cut the negative shorter and on one of the bolts that I've mounted the solar panel to, I'm going to earth it on the inside. So you can't see the wire at all, it's all behind it, hidden away, done. So all I've done is take the negative, put a little crimper on the end, so we've got one, and then hopefully um, slot that over. That's on there, it's going to be tricky. That's on there. And the last one, hopefully it. Ah, nail fell off. Alright, so that's gonna take me like an hour <laughs> probably just to get that one thing on, but it'll be well worth the effort. Um, I'm just on there. I'll probably end up undoing the other one so I can get more clearance under there. Alright, so let's earth that, uh, connect this cable tow this up out of the way, make it neat and tidy, and I think we're almost done. Then I'll run you through the whole thing quickly just so you get an overview of what it's like and I'll, sh I'll show you what it's like with the battery voltage as well inside versus out because we get a little bit of sunlight in here let's go right here so everything's done i've connected up the connector up the top there cable ties all up and there's still one thing i want to neaten up on the roof but i just don't have the parts with me right here to finish it before i finish the video so i'll do that at home and i might post some some uh, photos up on instagram if you haven't followed me on instagram jump on there and follow me on Instagram. Same name, Australian 4x4 Adventures and Facebook as well. Um, if you're new to the channel, maybe think about subscribing, that'd be cool. Like we do a lot of this sort of install stuff, a heap of trip videos, how-tos, just everything to do with full driving and more specifically to do with 200 series. Yeah, so if you like it, smash that uh, subscribe button 2019 style, you know, because it's cool. All right, so we'll run through exactly what's happened here. So, solar panel mounted to the Rhino platform rat, uh, flat rack. Uh, just some old brackets bolted down, secure as it's going nowhere. Um, I've earthed it to this bolt on the inside, so you can't see any wires from there. It's all earthed out of the way and done. Um, the only one you can see is this one here coming across because I wanted to cable tie it to um, to that point there. It sort of come up there and. I prefer to do that rather than just have it flapping around in the breeze down below. The cable tied the connectors underneath here, so if I ever need to disconnect it for any reason, I can just pull it apart and off I go. I wanted to do two so it held it together nicely, nice and tight that way. Um, the only part I want to change in here, if you can see it, there's the, the red cable. Where is it? 
there so the red cable that you can see there i want to put more conduit around that so it's all just completely um, covered up so that one actually runs all the way along the roof line down the channel the reason i've done that singular six mil cable six mil just so it was big enough so i didn't get any uh, uh loss in power uh run it through some conduit here down through the channel all the way down there the reason it's a small cable is because that's the only cable that fits in this channel going all the way down so i tried with some twin core that was that was wrapped it looked really nice but i just couldn't get it in there there's just not enough room to make it happen all right so that continues all the way down there through into the bonnet comes out inside the bonnet here conduited from there so it's just nice and factory you can barely even see it really coming out there run it underneath this plastic trim so i took it out of i had it in the rubber seal earlier underneath the plastic trim all the way along and there pops out down through under here comes out here cable tied it all all to existing stuff tucks up underneath there it hides away and then into the red arc bcdc charger there so it's fairly neat overall if i pull this down if you can see there like you can be, all you can really see is the um anderson plug connector that's pretty much all it's all it's visible from the front there which i reckon is actually pretty good i'm, I'm happy with that install uh if you do something different maybe check it in the comments below if i've done something wrong guarantee i've done something wrong i know i didn't solder some of the joints but i'm i hate soldering I'm, i've never had dramas with crimping before so i'm going to stick with that uh otherwise check uh, if you're on instagram and facebook check, check some photos up of your your version of it and tell me what you think and go from there all right guys have a good one i will catch you in the next one